So um, again, this the two of the module from our you can activate the cursor on a module from our the the cloud ops. So command line basic means again anything you do on the GUI is a mouse. Anything you do from the keyboard we call the command line basic. Simple. So that's the reason we call the command line basic. You can continue. Um, so again, my approach is always different. Uh, I always want to know what I am doing, why I am doing, when I'm going to do this, where I'm going to do this. If I do know the advantage, if I don't know the, if I do not do the disadvantage, I always focus on this. I'm a high, I'm teaching you, uh, we are all teaching you the same approach. Uh, instead of jump on the how, always need to know the why, what, where, when, okay, advantage, disadvantage. If you always can put on your brain this, the concept, you will never need to memorize the, and you will never forget, and plus you will never have to memorize anything. So you're going to cover the following. Uh, okay, go ahead, you can start, thank you. Should I start the hands on? Yeah, so what you are going to cover, no, you go back. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. So basically we are going to create the Linux called the directory, uh, we will do that. And the home directory means when you log into Windows is the your users is called the home directory. We'll call the nested directory means you create one folder and go to that folder, create another folder, go to that folder, go to the another, create another folder. That's called the nested folder. So we call the nested directory, right? Um, the two is part of the one and three is part of the two. We'll see that. And we'll be actually the navigating outside of the directory, how to create new folder and subfolder and the what is Linux file. Um, the copy a file directory to another directory means one folder to another folder. Removing a directory means delete a directory and a file in Linux. How to move means from one place to another place means cut and paste. So that's the how to move directory, how to rename. The way you do the rename in Linux Windows, you can do the rename here as well. And uh, what is absolute and relative path, which is very important, right? Um, the, uh, you will know this. The, uh, what is push and pop D? Push D and pop D, you will know this as well. Uh, how to update a text file, like we use the editor, the notepad in Windows. And um, here you will be using the, the any, a basic, uh, whatever it's called. Vim and uh, the basic of the cat also. Like yes. How we can do the cat and the Vim. Yes. So you will be using the editor as well. Many, many editor. One of the most important is Vim. And what are the pages? I forgot many of them, not all. Exploring the directory with long list and um, what is shell in Linux, bash popular and common, bash prompt. These are all important things. They're very easy. But one of the most important things in Linux, every command has the manual itself. Remember I said it, you should not memorize anything else. Your goal is to what it is, why I'm going to use it, when I'm going to use it, where I'm going to use it. Advantage of using it, not advantage of not using it. Disadvantage of not using it. You need to solve them, need to understand them. And finally, how comes? Because how is shown by the Linux manual itself. Linux has a super, like the, the powerful, the uh, manual for each of the command in depth, right? So uh, when you practice a lot, things come on your, on your fingertips, right? But really you don't need to memorize any Linux command. Eight, 10, 15, because you're using a lot, you're good. But the knowing the meaning of each of them and the when you're going to use them, most critical. And, and nobody in the world is uh, asking you to memorize anything else, either the programming or Linux. The, everybody encourage and advise you understand things and know the use cases, know the advantage. So we, we recommend, we remind you guys the same thing over and over. Pra after you know the things, then you practice and practice, we refer, some people refer, it's a memorization. Fine, whatever you call it, that's fine. Okay, let's get started. Um, so 